Good afternoon, my peoples out here in Rap Fiend Radio Land. It's your boy, Rush the Guillotine. You know how we bringing it to Independent Funk every Saturday, 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. It's your boy, Guillotine. And we about to go and get these guys and bring them in the studio. We got uh, Hybrid and Shooter McGavin. Let me go and grab these fellas. What's up? What's up? What up? What up? What Hybrid. Up, Shooter McGavin. All right, man. Foremost, man, where are you from, Hybert? And then Shooter McGavin, we're going to see where you from. So, Hybert, where you from? I hail from Frankfort, Kentucky, the capital of KY. It's um, in between Lexington and Louisville, small little river, historical river town. And that is the hometown, Frank Town. Frank Town. Shooter McGavin. Yeah. Where you from? Y'all know what it is, man. This is your boy, Shooter, man. Uh, I hail originally from Louisville, but I'm residing in Frankfurt right now myself. I'm a multi-world traveler, you hear me? <laughs> okay, and how did you two guys link up, man? Um, I think this is your, what, second or third project? This is our second full project, yep. The first project we did was called Never Too Old, and then we just uh, we dropped it almost two years ago. Not quite, but about two years ago. But um, me and Shooter only met, even though we're from the same town and relatively the same age group, we actually didn't know each other until about uh, probably, what do you say, Shooter, about 10 years ago, getting uh, yeah. approaching 10 years ago? Yeah, it was 2013, right after I retired from the sir. Okay, yeah, 2013. And we actually met through the music. You know, I was doing the Hustle and Flow showcases, and we had a lot of mutual friends, and um, we were definitely – interwoven in some of the similar circles and uh, I met Shooter through the music just um, somehow I got in touch with them and booked them on some Hustle and Flow shows which is a showcase that I've been doing for years and eventually he started doing them with me and uh, became the my partner in crime as far as hosting them and organizing them and promoting them so the rest is history huh yeah the rest is history all right. I don't think Shooter. I don't think Shooter. He, he, he's been getting on my nerves. Yeah, he's been getting on my nerves for ten years. <laughs> oh man, y'all, y'all know y'all got a brotherly love. That <laughs> sound like it. Oh man, man. Yeah. All right, I so stay on him. Oh, you stay on him, huh? You make sure he sharpen his tools, huh? Yeah, man. Man, this man. man. See, see, see. He's a different breed, though. You got to understand. <laughs> this man got fifty albums. He's like, hey, man, let's. Let's do another one. We ain't released the first one. Nobody got time for that shit. What you say? He doing? He doing too much? Yeah, man. but he does great work him. though. Yeah, he does great work though. I take pride in doing too much. Hey, that's all right, cause hey, that's a lot of content. <laughs> hey, when you gone, they know you was working on huh, hybrid. Man, they gonna remember me. They just got hit shuffle. <laughs> Word up! <laughs> they gotta hit gotta shuffle, hit shuffle. <laughs> right? Hit shuffle at my funeral. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So, what what was the premise of this new CD that you guys got? How did you guys come up with the uh, actual title, House Party? Man, go ahead, Shooter. Well, <clears throat> pretty much, uh, you know, we uh, as a lot of our youngsters that we mentor in this game or whatever, they call us OGs at this point, right? So we wanted to develop a project that still had uh, some new, uh, you know, new generational things, but had the old school 90s swag, of, you know, 80s, 90s swag, and, you know, the errors we grew up through and the things that influenced us in, the, you know, even pursuing music as children. So this album embodies all of that, and you know we got enough, we got a lot of stuff on there for people who are in our generation who vibe with us, and you know give them something to rock with. And we bringing in the new age. I mean, Hybrid can tell you himself about you know the um, influence he has on the uh, younger generation here, especially from what he does to you know his uh, outreach and everything he does as well for the youth. Word. Yeah, man, we. I appreciate that, shooter. Yeah, we. To me, it was like a a nod and a, a tip of our hat to the to the Generation X. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, the golden era. Uh, not only 
but like if you listen to the album, it's got a lot of references and, and not and not only the vibes, but just the, the content alone. We want we wanted to take it back to like a simpler time, you know what I'm saying? Like when it just rap had a little bit more personality and a little bit more fun. Uh, and we treated the project like it's a like it's an actual part, like a house party, like like me and like me and Shooter are hosting a house party, y'all. Come one, come all, everybody come over, we're gonna have a good time. We're gonna rock the mic for y'all, we're gonna rock out right in the living room, you know what I'm saying? We we wanted to really treat it like similar to the movie. You know, it's obviously a movie reference with the house party, but also right. like a house party was the pinnacle of a good time back in the nineties and the early two thousands. That was like the thing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It was like wasn't so much drugs, wasn't so much violence, wasn't so much dress codes, and just uh, it, society wasn't as, as sketchy. You didn't have to look over your shoulder as much uh, to me, you know what I'm saying, when I think about it. So I'm, so it's like uh, us flashing back to our adolescence and trying to catch that wave and catch that vibe, but sort of modernizing it. And it's similar to how, how, how 90s fashion has kind of come back, and you're starting to seeing like a lot of the mainstream artists kind of going back to the 90s a little bit. I feel like we kind of we're doing that naturally with this project. And um, so it's almost like a history repeats itself, kind of, kind of like the all remember what it was like pre COVID and pre nine 11 and, and all these major events that kind of shifted the world and all the technology and all the content. We just wanted to take it back to just what a house party embodied, you know, you're inviting strangers and friends over and you're just having a good time. That's kind of what the album is really. So just going back to the old school layman terms of a good party. Yeah, exactly, man. So we yeah, mentioned, yeah, man. you know, yeah. mentioned house phones and, and tape decks and, and Carlos Rossi. And, you know, we it's the album is full of just those old school vibes, you know, and even some of the beats and the sounds will have that golden era feel to them. All right, well, guys, my listeners, it's all about the music here at Rap Fame Radio. So, man, we gonna drop into this first joint, Oxcord, man. Uh, what's the vibe on this, fellas? Shoot, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> so, Oxcord. <laughs> Sounds. You're this laughing over there. Is a, this is, <laughs> yeah, this is one of them ones where we're bringing the, the new and old school together because you know back in the day somebody might get in your pad they ask for a ride they want to start touching on the radio and shit you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. if you ain't offered no gas money you know you just didn't hear you just like you know taking over so that's the premise of ox school all right when you y'all. bet at ox court you better not play nothing whack you know what i'm saying Ooh. exactly all right y'all so sound like we about to listen to a banger nothing whack ox court Shooter McGavin, we got Hybrid the Rapper up in here, y'all, premiering the album House Party. Let's go. Privileges is gone, look Bitch, you really bold We ain't even hit the road Reaching for my ox For a blue Playing on my phone Bitch, let me get you home So you can leave my shit alone You ain't even off the gas But if I kick you out, I'm wrong No, I don't wanna hear that song Or anything you wanna play I put these speakers in this car And you ain't fucking up my day Won't have me guessing what they say Keep that mumbling away I might give it a chance a little later But not today Bitch, 
bitch, I really am too nice and bitches, not gender specific. Bitch, you asking for a ride. Turn my music when you hear it. I'm indie, I do the clearing like a king on checkerboards. If I pick you up again, you bet not touch my ox cord. Bitch, put down my ox cord. Now yours. Oxcord, House Party, Shooter McGavin, Hybrid the Rapper, what up, though? Yo, yo. <sighs> Not bad, man. Production, man. Who who laid, who laid the love on the production? Man, that was my producer um, down in Georgia. He goes by Spoke Wheel, and um, he, he does a lot of exclusive uh, uh, customized production for us, and... Um, I've done a lot of music with him over the years, and he's he's got a lot of songs with a lot of national acts too, and uh, he's just a really really talented musician. Yeah, it was nice, man. Nice vibe, man. So yeah. so putting this album together, man. How long did it take y'all to actually put everything together? Was it thirteen songs? Yeah, we just kind of we just kind of chiseled <laughs> away at it. We didn't we didn't sit down with any deadline or anything. I would just present songs to Shooter, and um, we just take our time and and. Uh, He'd he'd write to him and and come up with his parts and then uh, we'd get down to the studio and of course Shooter's always efficient in the lab he he always does really good work really fast um, and uh, I don't know man what, what do you think Shooter probably about a year a little less than a year yeah I, I say in between uh, you know all the you know the hospital bullshit or whatever. So I was going back and forth doing that. That's another reason some uh, uh this project took so long. But I mean, you know, been bounced back since then. So you know what I'm saying? Now it's time to keep the ball rolling, man, and you know, turn that pebble into an avalanche, you feel me? For sure, for yeah, sure. And we and we dropped uh we dropped Never Too Old, our first album, and it was like nine tracks and then in between that Shooter probably did about five other features on my stuff, so we did close to thirty songs in two years. Oh, easy. That's what's up. Okay, so y'all been working. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Even even though it sounded like he had some hospital problems, y'all still was getting it in. Yeah, man. Plus doing uh, doing the hustle and flow showcases. So and and making content, music videos. Like we've already dropped two music videos from this project already. So and yeah, we we've been we've been moving and grooving. And this project dropped when. Oh, what week ago? December, yeah, December twelfth. Yeah, got December twelfth. Y'all got two visuals already. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, just plow it on yeah, out there, guys. Uh, yeah, the uh, the track you just played, Oxcord, was our first single. It's got a a super slick video to that. And that's on YouTube and Facebook. And then we also got uh for the track you're gonna play here in a minute, the house party track, the the theme song. We got a video to that that we just dropped. Okay, that's cool. All right, we're gonna go on ahead. Yeah. We're gonna go ahead and drop in the uh, came along. Uh, okay, with well, that, yeah, that's a good one, and that's gonna be the next video we drop. Uh, we filmed three videos that all went together. So Oxcore was the first, then House Party, and then Came Alone, and they all, all three are um, they tell one story. So they all, all those videos go together like a, like a theme or whatever. So it's like a mini movie. Yeah, 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 pretty much, yeah, for sure. I like that mini movie, man. Yeah. Again, it and, and it all ties into everything that we wanted to embody in this project. So, okay, bet. Let's go ahead and drop on into it. Came along, house party, the premiere. Let's go. Let's get it. I don't even know nobody. I don't even know who got on. 
I don't even know why you asked me. Oh, I just came along to the party. Oh, I don't even like nobody. Oh, I just wanna meet somebody. Oh, I don't even know what you ask me. Pulled up to the house party low. low, low. I don't know no one at the door. Low. I can just keep rolling and go. go. I can park and peep out the flow. I'm already at the house, why not check it out? I'm only off good vibes and the thighs hanging out Can't let my guard down, cause too many are glad Like I ain't pull up in the Chevy, bitches ain't no McLaren So I glide right in, smelling sex and sin Came here by myself, might leave with a new friend Getting foggy in the corner, back stay on the wall I just came to have a good time, not get in the bra To think for anybody else, shit, that ain't my position I just wanna party and I feel like I'm back on a mission I just came alone to the party uh, uh, I don't even know nobody uh, I don't even know who got on hey, I don't even know why you asked Let's go I just came alone to the party uh, uh, I don't even like nobody uh, I just wanna meet somebody uh, I don't even know what you asked I pulled up to the house party solo so I came in to kick it like a dojo. dojo I got my mojo back in this mofo mofo But the big fat blunt got me slow mo do I got the plug? Look, no, bro. No, bro. I ain't tryna deal with no po po. Girl tryna bounce like a pogo. Go. She all up in my ear saying YOLO. Oh. I'm looking around the party and I don't know no one. No. I just came to kick it like a um show gun. Girl, you look alone, that's no fun. No. Say you wanna smoke, yup, we can blow one. I just came alone to the party. I don't even know nobody. I don't even know who got on. I don't even know why you ask me. I don't know. I just came alone to the party. Uh, uh, I don't even like nobody. Uh, I just wanna meet somebody. Uh, I don't even know what you asking. Man, that's got that got that that club type vibe on that one, fellas. Yeah. Yeah, man. Like that's a a straight house party. Banger. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, yeah, so what's the plans for this, man? What's the rollout, man? Are you guys gonna try to do some touring off this album, man? Well, we definitely like to do uh create a lot of content for it other than music videos. We wanna do some we've been doing a lot of little skits, you know, a lot of reels on, on TikTok and Facebook, been getting a lot of views and stuff. People people like to see us just having fun and showing personality. But then also we're gonna shoot several more music videos. Hopefully we can do like another listening party around town. Um maybe get some merch together for the album and just have some of our close friends come and you know, sit in with this and and hopefully start performing some of these songs out. I would definitely love to. Word. But um, definitely the music videos. Yeah, and I'm uh, you know depending on uh, how the ball gets rolling. I was you know even in the tri-state tour, go from Tennessee back to Kentucky, across the bridge to uh, Indiana, or something like that. You know, it just it just really depends. You know what I'm saying? On you know, the hardest working man in the uh, in rap Kentucky industry right now is <laughs> yeah, scheduled. Hardest, <laughs> hardest man in K- Kentucky. Man, I'm trying I'm trying to get Shooter to do another album. I'm trying to get him to do a podcast. I'm trying to get him to make a movie with me. I ain't letting up. Word. Man. Damn. Man. The the Shoot. order the order is tall. <laughs> Shooter, the order is tall. <laughs> Man, listen. Hey, you know, I just, listen. you know, I, I, I get it. I get it. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 I get his beating and I get his grab. And I tell you what, sometimes I just gotta see my ass that. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? Fuck all that shit you talking about, hybrid. <laughs> man, shit. <laughs> what you say? Take him up hey, like man, a chill just... pill. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, man, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to get. I just want us to get rich and famous. That's all, man. Hey, and it take work to do that. So, I, hey, you got to keep putting that work out. <laughs> oh yeah, we've been, uh, we've been, we definitely been grabbing. I mean, you know, he started in the music industry way before I did because okay. I went to the military and stuff. So when I came back home, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he always had this steady push that I mean has never 
ever stop. And that's one thing a lot of people don't either see because they're not behind the scenes to see the work and everything yeah. he does. And so a lot of people a lot of people don't even really appreciate how hard this man works, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's a big uh, I just wanna give me flowers right now on that shit, man, because I tell you what. He get on my damn nerves. I wake up at six thirty in the morning. It be six thirty in the morning. Talking about, hey man, I'm gonna be hitting I'm your about phone. To huh? this, this. Man, I'm like, dog, get out of here. I ain't even got the boogers out my right. eyes yet. Shit, let me get up first, man. I'm hitting, about... it with, I'm hitting it with battle raps, everything. I'm always on, man. <laughs> Hey, he know. needs his flowers for putting up with me as a friend, man, because I go hard on I'll him. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I'll tell you what, because you know what? it have been a couple of days I wanted to up and you, but I never would. <laughs> <laughs> Word. <laughs> All right, we got uh, another joint, man. Count, uh, count in. Hey, uh, don't forget, we got to play the actual theme song for him, too, the house party. That's our single well, out shit. right let's now. Get the, let's get the damn theme song again. No worries. Yeah, Fuck let's it. get that in there. That, you, that song sets the stage for the whole project. Hey, Shooter. Shooter. Yo. He working me over here, too, already. You see that? <laughs> oh, yeah, see? This, this is what you got to deal with when you're dealing with. He working, I, he working me over here. Back, it's all good, though. We, we going to go, hey, this this y'all show for the day. Shit, house party is what you want. Bro, house party what you get, y'all. We finna give them the theme <laughs> of it. the project. House party. Y'all got a video for this one? Yeah, video is yeah. out right now. We shot it at a, we yeah. literally had a house party at my house just to make the house party video for the house party album. <laughs> Damn, all right. It's authentic, yeah, y'all. It was, a, it was a real house party. Yeah. And Shooter oh, said yeah, shout yeah. out to everybody that came yeah, to the house party. Yeah, you to check out the video, man. Oh, yeah. We most definitely yeah. have to, we're going to have to check out the video, but now we're going to listen to the damn song House Party. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, bro? Ah, you know a spot to slide through tonight? Oh, they taking it back to the 80s. It's gonna be a house party? Shit, I'm on the way. Hey! Feel like 1990s. Ah. Call up all the homies. Oh. We gonna get it going. Let's go. Throw our house party. House party. Feel like 1990. Seven is so perfect. Yeah. Now I'm on one on my. What? Page of dog is searching. Ah, ah. Feels kinda like the 90s. Yeah. Call up all my broskies. Yo. Pass that caller's phone. What? We don't use. Parlay, parlay all day. all day Round up all the posse Go. Say nice, special brew Who goes for Carlos Rossi We gon' have a house party Throw a house party We gon' throw a house party We gon' throw a house party We gon' throw a house party Throw a house party We invitin' everybody We gon' throw a house party <laughs> We gon' get the party poppin', poppin'. ain't no tellin' who's stoppin', stoppin'. swimmin' pool, girl hoppin', hoppin'. skin it dippin', I'm all in, all in. girl don't call your boyfriend, no. drinkin' games we playin', let that dish change the spin, like them 90s again, DJ go play my song, smoke break don't take too long, no way don't hate, it's on, Look around, get the funds, we gone, swervin' all day, we perkin', chicks in the hallway flirtin', bourbon, oh man, I'm hurtin', talk can't tell the got her twerking Feel like 1990s ah. Call up all the homies oh. We gon' get it going Let's go. Throw a house party, house party. Feel like 1990 Seven is so perfect yeah. Now I'm on on my what? Page the dog is searching ah. Ah. Feels kinda like the 90s you. Call up all my broskies Yo. Pass that caller's phone what? We don't use emojis no, no. Parlay, parlay all day. all day Round up all the posse go. Say nice, special bro Who boots from Carlos Rossi I beat the senorita Rita. Who kept walking by Bye. Who did like an onion Them that made me cry Bye. Then she backed it up on me I ain't asking why Plus I'm feeling the vibe Cause shorty's far from shy Told her let's lie for a few My car's right outside She said she lived around the corner And was down to ride She left her friends at the party And I left my homie too She said she's off the party And she know what we came to do She got on me like a motorbike I hope I really came to lay the pipe With all my mind She took it but when we got through She couldn't walk back into the party ride Feel like 1990s ah. Call up all the homies oh. We gon' get it going Let's go. Throw a house party. house party Feel like 1990 Seven is so perfect yeah. Now I'm on on my what? Pay the dog is searching ah. Feels kinda like the 90s you. Call up all my broskies Yo. Pass that call the 
round up all the posse. Go. Say nice, special bro. Boos Farm, Carlos Rossi. I look at him with his tears. Boos Farm, guys. Boos Farm. That's what y'all talking about, man. <laughs> <laughs> Boom's fine. Yep, y'all went right on, on back. Well, you know, y'all back went then, right to the back to the nineties with the you know, back fine. Then, <laughs> Man, you know, back then you could always sneak and get what you could get. Do they still make pretty. that shit, man? <laughs> Do they still make uh, Boom's yeah. fine? Bro? Oh yeah, they still make. Yeah. Oh yeah. I had some. We got some in the video. Oh shit! Do they still make Cisco? They call they that ban liquid. Yeah, that yeah, was yeah, liquid yeah, crack, boy. That liquid crack. <laughs> they ban that shit in thirty six countries. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but that was, that hey, that, was <laughs> hey, that was what's going on in that time, though, bro. You had Wild Eye was Rose. You had Mad Ooh. Dog twenty twenty. You had Cisco Thunderbird Night Train. Yeah. Night train. Hell yeah, that was a <laughs> sweat, small wicker. Let's oh, not forget sweat. Oh, in the forties, the OE, you know what Dang I'm saying? Now. Damn, a uh, crazy horse, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's crazy out there back hey, then, we, man. Hey, we had that, that was, model called. We, we put the we put the Carlos Rossi in the video too. Oh man, y'all was going back, wasn't y'all? Yeah, as an MD twenty twenty. Oh, yeah, yeah, we had it all. <laughs> man, my yeah, posse, man. man, we had this drink called Blood, man. We used to mix down Kool-Aid, some sugar, Mad Dog 2020, man. We thought we was doing some shit. Woo. Hold stomachs, on. Wait, stomachs wait was, stomach, stomachs was like rock. Stomachs just, oh, rock, just rock hard. Just just stomachs just totaled out. <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> Y'all, y'all became early diabetics. <laughs> Stayed <laughs> yeah. up for three weeks off that. Hell yeah. Hey, it was some wild. Them, them 90s was wild days. They, yeah, was, man. they was, man. The last generation for the internet. Hey, for sure. You dig? You know what I'm saying? It really was. I remember uh, when 2000 came along, everybody thought the world was going in and shit and Motherfuckers buying, uh, yeah, motherfuckers buying water and all this crazy shit, thinking the power <laughs> gonna come off and all kind of shit. It was like everybody was happy when they went yeah, from ninety nine to two thousand. Like, oh, everything is great, no power <laughs> off, everything. Oh, we made it. Like, oh shit. <laughs> yeah, it was the and first really COVID even... without the virus. Exactly, a one hundred percent, bro. It was the first COVID <laughs> without the damn fucking. <laughs> Virus for real, because everybody thought like, "Damn, we gonna make it." <laughs> that was Prince though. Party to nineteen ninety nine. Shit, everybody was like, "Damn, was Prince on to something? This motherfucker gonna be over or what?" <laughs> I'm not even sure why they thought that because the uh, the world wasn't even really revolving around the internet. So even if the internet would have crashed, I don't know why people thought the world. Was <laughs> yeah, <be> <laughs> shit, all we had was AOL back then. Hell yeah, shit. damn, you ain't lying, man. AOL, <laughs> shit. Look, somebody pick up, somebody pick up that telephone and roll you. <laughs> 20 minute conversation, you've been typing all them letters and shit. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, man, it's some crazy times back then, man. You know, some of these people mm-hmm. wouldn't even realize, like, without a cell phone, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you could do a lot of man. things back then, man. You get caught up on a lot of shit now, man. Everything. Yeah, everything. You can't. Ain't, do not, nothing. ain't nothing not recorded now. Word. I mean, Sometimes I wish we did have that shit back then, though. I ain't gonna lie, because there's a lot of shit out of life had to record. Nah, uh, I'm good. <laughs> I, 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 I got some charges that I never got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that point too. I know what you mean. Like, nah, I'd rather not have that recorded. <laughs> I totally get it. All right, guys, we got to uh, count it. Three X. What's going on with that joint? Go ahead, Sheila. Which, which one it. was it? I'm sorry. My, Count it. My, my shit broke up. Count it, 3X. Count it. Yeah. Count it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Count it. Yeah. That's about getting yeah. that money and hustling and grinding and, and stacking some paper and not worried about any distractions and just getting on the grind and doing your thing and stacking your money up. Hustlers joint, huh? 
That's a that's yeah, a that's a yeah. word to the hustlers, huh? All right, well, yeah. Are you and kind of like you know none of that none of that bullshit matters at this point. It's time to start making some money and getting getting the finances right. Word up. Okay, so this is PSA for all you hustlers, and uh, you know they're giving y'all some game. Let's go count it. I'm getting back at the counting. I'm trying to fuck my account. Money we counting. The bank account stacking, but fucking them high like a mountain. Let's go. Bank account saying I got it. Got it. Now she stay wet like a fountain. Damn it, I'm trying to make profit. You hating, so stop it. We popping and found it. Love was money, it be counterfeit. I rather stack shit, fuck that other shit. Got a brand new whip and a brand new chick, slide it both. That's how I'm coming, bitch. But if I need more space, both can be replaced. Cause I gotta stretch out my legs when I'm on this paper chase. If it ain't about money, what we talking about? Being in your feelings, won't fill your bank account. Try to block my lane, I'm on another route. Can't stop my shine, I'm on top of mine. Mountain, count ten, light ends, no end to my. Visions. If you ain't family, you ain't getting in. I'm getting break out of counting. I'm trying to fuck my account. Money be counting. The bank account stacking, but fucking dumb high like a mountain. Bank account saying I got it. Got it. Now she stay wet like a fountain. Splash. Damn it, I'm trying to make profit. You hating, so stop it. We popping, they frowning. You Life is better with twice the cheddar. We was daydreaming about black berettas. Call me a barracuda. I'm in the cut with a pair of shooters. Can't shoot me up. Y'all don't do enough. Y'all been shooting up. Make a move like Luda what? Like Tupac, girl, a cool the fuck. Is a cooler what? She wanna do a bump, but I don't really do this stuff. Yuck. Stay cold like Santa's vixen. Smoke blunts in Mandy's kitchen. Make a shooter black and white like Andy Griffin. I get hype when their panties missing. I'm out the mud in the work boots. I'm in the dirt in them church clothes. I'm off the wall. I'm off the chain, dog. Off the hook, like your house phone. Oh. Momentum, damn, I need a little more grip. grip. Go get it, being broke, it's some old shit. Oh, shit. Walk in the room, she like, oh shit. oh shit. So sick on the mic when I flow, oh, bitch. bitch. Here we go again. Oh, again. Let me know, are you full friend? When I hold a pen, it's golden. Back in the lab with old friends. Call the church, we a tone sense. Get it. I'm getting break out of counting. I'm trying to fuck my account. Money we counting. The bank account stacking, but fuck it, I'm high like a mountain. All right, guys, we back in. Count that damn cash. Count that cash. Count that money. Yeah. (laughs) All right, guys. So the question I have for you guys is, uh, are you more comfortable with uh, getting the beats first? And then making the song, or does that really matter for either one of you? Yeah, I think for this album, we had we mostly just, um, you know, combed around trying to find dope beats, and he picked some, and I picked some, and um, yeah, I definitely definitely shopped around for the beats and and hand picked them for the project for sure on this one at least. Okay. Right, I feel this one was uh, better, uh, more structured when it came to the actual idea. Let's not get it twisted. Never Too Old was a cold album. It was a great album. But we did uh, have this, you know, even a couple of songs that we heard after the fact, like, man, this could have used another beat. This could have used another beat. So, you know, it's just part of the game, too. It's just that progression and growth and realizing you know, just like everyday life, your own mistakes or things that you could have did better, things you could change. And sure. that was a big focus on this project as well, too. Yeah, yeah Number Two Old had a, Number Two Old had more of an edgy, uh, I don't know, kind of underground type of feel to it, um, more serious. And on this album, we obviously tried to show a lot more of our personality. Yeah, and. Um, like more, kind a little of, bit more R and B, R and B incorporated, because you know both me and Shooter like to sing and and do some melodies. So we uh we incorporated the singing a little bit more than the first album, um, and just yeah, just showed a lot more personality and have have more fun with it. Okay, all right, we got uh drinking games. 
That's something you got to do at a yeah. house party. That's that's a good yeah, title this, for house party, drinking games. And now this, this track started at another studio. We were um, we were recording a couple tracks out of a guy named Brandon Justice's studio, okay. and uh, in a city, uh, in a surrounding city here, and he sort of started this song for us with that hook. And we we jumped on it. So this one was already this one was kind of passed to us, and okay. we followed his lead. So he had that little hook on there, had the vibe, and so me and Shooter just uh, came in and dropped some heat for it, and then we ended up sort of inheriting the song for our album. Word. Okay. Well, let's check it out. Drinking games from the album House Party. I'm throwing shots back. I've been on my drinking game. So I can't copy me. I can't think. Shot of lemon, keep the party going, baby. Got the momentum, living for the moment. I've been drinking like a sailor. We cool since preschool, your girl. I'm a play yeah. like a cook in the night. Might book this flight, hook this right. We're gonna do it to the daylight. Hang tight, like Mike with the hang time. She look fine, like game night, game time. I'm spin the road to the liquor store so I can get some more. Might hit the drone for sure. Knock them down like Riddick Bow. When I rip a show, call it to go, yo. Let's go. All these drinking games got me thinking, man. In the backseat, sinking real low. Had a port about bottle loud in the kitchen sink. It was starting to affect my bill flow. Hey, I'm throwing shots back. I've been on my drinking game. So I can't comprehend, I can't think the same. Need my desire. Told you I wouldn't think the same. Now I'm a liar. I don't wanna explain my pain. Gotta take it up higher. I'm throwing shots back. I've been on my drinking game. I've been drinking too much, I don't feel it's enough Every time I fill my cup, your body I wanna touch I ain't gonna talk too much, just gonna roll this dutch See you and your girls looking like I'm about to be lunch Now shooters in go mode, we can take some photos If you put that shit on IG, for me that's just free promo Now you want me to go slow, grab my dick and like oh whoa All we had to do was stop now you blowing up my phone, hey I'm throwing shots back I've been on my drinking game So I can't comprehend I can't think the same Be my desire Told you I wouldn't think the same Now I'm a liar I don't wanna explain my pain Gonna take it up higher I'm throwing shots back I've been on my drinking game So I can't comprehend I can't think the same Be my desire Told you I wouldn't think the same Drinking film. games. Yes, sir. Where everybody get loaded. Where everybody get their drink on. All right, yeah. guys. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you the question I ask every artist on the platform that comes and visit me on Saturdays. You know, uh, what's the aim, man? Do you want to stay independent or do you want a record deal? Yeah. Well, I'm gonna let Shooter answer that. I answered that when we when I did the Rise interview for yes. Thoroughbreds album. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna let Shooter answer that. I, I Come on, that. Shooter, what you want? You want a deal or no deal? Nah. 
hell no, no deal. <laughs> no deal, oh, no deal. deal. He say, hell no yeah, deal. No deal. Straight up, because that's the end of the day, you're going to recoup more. Uh, you stay independent, you stay on your grind, you stay focused. Everybody ain't going to make it. We just got to be honest about that. Right. But even from simple things to just how you market yourself to merchandise, you know, your meat, you know, uh, when you own your own, and you own your masters, and you own everything that you're putting out, you know what I'm saying? Now, if they want to use your stuff, they got to pay you. Yeah, because you know basically, you to pay you to take it up. That loan gonna be the biggest loan in your life. <laughs> it's a dirty man, loan. Oh man, I mean, uh, some of these cats is getting hit the three sixties, or you know, they get those that million dollar advance. Yeah, but you gotta pay like to seven. Pay you gotta pay like you get a million, but you gotta pay seven million back. That's a bad loan. Yeah, <laughs> seven to ten. You know what I'm saying? And you know you might not have even blow because if a label yep. ever decides to start or uh, stop pushing you, that's that right. means what also stops is the promotion they pay for. You know, and that's so all it is. That's what you're getting help for you. is the push. That's the help. And they could decide to just shelf so, your ass yeah. and, and then you in the hole. Then they give you another deal and you in the hole even more. Then that's why they selling their damn soul. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, I mean, I don't even like, I, mean, I don't even like all my credit card. That damn shit don't want hold no label. <laughs> uh, and even, man. even, you know, I, and I grew up, I grew up watching E-40 a lot, you know, and E-40 had a, even in the 90s, he had sick with the records, you know, so that was the first time I really paid attention to an independent label, and I always admired it because he just, he put on his friends and his family and people in his city, and um, I don't know, I just always liked that, like just providing jobs for your friends and having unity with people that you grew up with and that you're close with, and not just being label mates with strangers, but you starting something with your actual friends and family, and that's that's what I've always wanted. I mean, you can ask anybody that knows me from way back. That's always been my dream. That's when I started the dub tape brand. Um, and I've had a label. I've, you know, I've, I've done it legit and had 12, 15 members and, and all that. So that's just what I always enjoy. Um, it's a lot more work, but you know, it, it's just, there's just, a, it's a lot more honorable and a lot more tasteful than, you know, just joining the Hollywood monster to me. Yeah, I like that. Um, Hollywood so, monster. I like that. Yeah. You know. Yep. And with that so, old industry life, man, at that, you know, the game, the industry. I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to be at P. Diddy's parties, man. This is <laughs> oh, me. Oh, shit. Now, hey. Right. Every, hey, hey. Now, I ain't going to even lie. Now, back in the day, everybody wanted, man, them niggas was thirsty to get on a damn P. Diddy party. Now, everybody talking about the P. Diddy party. Yeah. They was thirsty <laughs> and he quenched it. <laughs> Shoot us. <Yes. laughs> ah, shoot us. Ah, shoot us. He, he yeah. took care of you. You were thirsty for the party. He most definitely took care of you. Uh, yeah. Um, there's so much stuff coming out about that right now, man. It's ridiculous, man. Everybody, they mama coming out with shit. The industry in general is just collapsing, man. Yeah. I think the bigger point, uh, I mean, this would just be real quick because, you know, we're pushing the album, but real quick, I think the biggest uh, fallacy is the fact that people who idolize these people and want to be a part of what they got going on, this and the other, don't realize they're people. They yeah. they doing some of the worst shit just because they got the money to get away with. Word. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We know people out here just hustling on a daily basis to be able to get dinner or, you know, baby needs some new shoes or whatnot. Doing less than these folks, and then you know everybody acts surprised when it's a celebrity. Shit, if anybody gonna do this, the people who got it to do it with, for sure. And they got the money to pay the people to shut up. Amen. And that's what they it were is. never. Some of those, 
some of those people were never extraordinary people. They were just ordinary people having an extraordinary experience. So some of those people mm. were never born stars. They just, you know, they got in a position to yeah to just be perceived as a star. That's true. So I got a nice little segment, man. I'm looking at this joint called Weird Energy, and I think that's that's probably a good segment hey, to go yeah. into, man, because we're talking about shit, and that's a lot, yeah, of, is, lot of weird energy that, we're talking about. That is perfect. You dig? <laughs> yeah, that's the perfect one. <laughs> All right, y'all. House party. Shooter <laughs> McGavin. Hybrid the rapper. Let's see what the weird energy about. Let's go. Weird energy. Shady shit as soon as she wake up She gon' be alone in 86 If we break up I ain't got no time for fucking fake Energy, you fucking fake Enemy, you suck, you ain't kidding me What's up, you ain't no friend of me No love, try enough enemy Now what, you pretend to be I've been real for centuries Demon, demon You're time, in demon bro. time because it's weird energy. <laughs> <laughs> you telling on yourself over there, hybrid. You know I be coming into these. Oh, y'all man. need to learn how to be quiet while we doing this. Y'all, y'all telling on y'all You supposed to have me on mute. <laughs> you was on mute, but the song is over. Back to the interview. <laughs> you just got busted. Your ass got busted on demon time. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> got to be a good oh, man, boy on these win. interviews, Don't man. Up to the crib. Yeah. <laughs> what you say? You going to have some problems in a minute? Yeah, man. I hope a witness is going to show up at my house. Oh, they coming. They coming. Uh, let's talk about merchandise, man. <laughs> you guys going to do any merchandise for the uh, album here, like house party shirts or hats or anything like that? What's the. Man. I man, I'd love to. Uh, we got we got a, uh, a shirt up on the website for the last album. I'd like to do something for this album, and 
I wouldn't mind getting some CDs. We talked about it just to have kind of like keep the old school nostalgia and to start, you know, the closest supporters, you know, might yeah. purchase some something like that. But uh, yeah, I hope, I'm hoping that we can. Definitely. Yeah, yeah but I was just talking to definitely. A... Uh, with this... Go ahead. Go ahead, shooter. Oh, uh, my fault. You good? Go yeah, uh, definitely. With the theme of the you know '90s, we definitely got to get some CDs. Yeah, made. I think that would be. Uh, That'd be good. And, yeah, uh, I'm still... Man, I'm still... I don't know. Yeah, I'm definitely I'm go here. <laughs> I mean, it just brings the whole nostalgia, I guess, of the whole premise of the house party, the nineties. Shit. Yeah, I was man. I was just talking to a, somebody in the music industry a couple of days ago, man, and we were talking about, you know, just to have something physical, tangible, you know, to have like a CD or you know this streaming shit there's it's just like ghost shit it's just in the air some people like to have actual content like in their hand content. yeah I mean that's how I am man like I, I still love having a merch table and having CDs full albums autograph something you know autograph a flyer t-shirts you know that like you said that uh, all the streamers is up in the air they don't actually get to keep anything Mm-mm. You know, and um, that's one reason I like Bandcamp is because Bandcamp, they can actually at least keep the MP3s yeah. and, and, you know, have them on their phone or in their email or whatever. Like, to me, that's a good uh, mixture of old school and new school. You know, like I miss the days of, of you know, books and CDs and shirts and just real, like you said, tangible media. Um <laughs> That's part of the golden era, you know. It's, oh yeah, that's what I like. So it's a it's a thing in the past, but maybe need to come back. You know, some things just. Well, I just watched a I watched a documentary the other day on a uh, Peacock or Hulu or something. It was about tape cassettes and how there's a comeback on tape cassettes because people they just like shopping for obscure tapes and collecting them and, okay. and things like that. It was, it was pretty cool. Um, it was just like a whole underground world of tape collecting that still goes on and, um, how people just love it for the nostalgia and shit. It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. Kind of so like, kind of like the vinyl. The, they said the vinyl, you know, is yeah. on the last couple of years has been exactly. on the rise. Yeah, exactly. I mean, people were just buying tapes and not even knowing who the group was. They just bought it because it was they, they were like it was part of the mystery of it. Word. Okay, yeah. we got a uh, Kentucky yeah. girls. Uh oh. Sounds like another club banger, possibly. Well, kind of, but more like a more or, like or a summertime a, joint for, this, for our area. Is it's, this that kind of like an anthem for Kentucky? Just that country, yeah, country that, flip shit. Or not yeah, really? just like a summertime <laughs> anthem, you know, like a like a backyard party party type track. Oh, backyard party, let's go, y'all! It's time to get your fucking grills out and let's go. <laughs> hey, been a lot of places, seen a lot of faces. I've been all over the world. But ain't nothing like touching down and coming home to a Kentucky girl. What up? She says she's from Kentucky. Well, I am too. She says she wants a bourbon. Well, I do too. She kind of sort of country. That's the way I am too. Now we both tip set, tip set. That's the play that I drew. Like an old school Mac 15's in the back I know you hear me coming Just got off 64 Headed straight to the store West End where I roll Time to see my cousins Then I saw a pretty thing She was switching lane to lane Haven't even seen the frame But no, I'm on to something We met up at the light Eye contact was right She said for tonight She was up to nothing I told her once I see my crew I wanna spend my time with you Got some Gorilla Glue For some back row running She said, you know I'm not good Can you roll a backwood assignment Was understood we gon' be heavy puffin' Now it's time to go eat We just mad It's my treat 
the food ladies down the street So it's time for munching She said shit, I got my own, please don't take it wrong I go get it all alone, KY women strutting She's strutting to well I am too She said she wants some bourbon, well I do too She kinda sort of country, that's the way I am too House party hanging out Skinny dip, I got her hanging out She's only happy when I'm around But gets sad when I gotta bounce ah. She only happy when I'm chilling on the couch Yo, Yo girl, call your homegirls, let's get down Damn. Got that radio banging hella loud Mom and daddy had that baby and you know they real proud What you talking about? She wanna go home with me Small town girl, come get stoned with me she used to be at the club, now she's at the brewery Two or three few girls always seem new to me Always looking so fly, even without nudity Hanging with my homies and you know we bout to she do some things She says she's fucking well, I am too She says she wants a bourbon Well I do too She kinda sort of country That's the way I am too Oh, tipsy, tipsy, that's the play that I drew Kentucky Girls Kentucky girls. See, y'all was bullshitting, man. Y'all didn't even listen, man. I was e-hawing for y'all Kentucky girls. <laughs> I said, yeah. <laughs> I think that was the mate, because I, I think it was the mate, because I heard it after the check, and I thought somebody was hollering outside my front door. Hell, no, nah, that, was, that was the DJ, man. I'm, I'm shit. I'm in the country girl lane, man. Shit, I want a country girl. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down here and get you one. <sighs> no, nah, man, I'm married, man. I don't want a country girl. I'm, I'm straight, but shit, oh, okay. sound, yeah, sound don't good, do that. man. Sound good, man. But uh, yeah, somebody out there do want a country girl. Y'all done put them in the vibe for the country girl. And that <laughs> that that right there was most definitely um, y'all targeted that right for Kentucky. So they should love that. Yeah, I think so. I think we're gonna try to do a video for that. One. I was gonna say y'all should most definitely do a video for that one, man. Cause y'all rapping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I definitely think so too. Yeah, y'all is rapping. Uh, who did the who did the music on that one, guys? That one I got uh, <clears throat> I've got a bunch of beats off of a beat, beat pack. I, I can't remember the exact producer. Okay. Uh, at the moment, I have to uh, look it up, but. Yeah, that that one I kind of acquired. That one was one that y'all um y'all had sitting around for a while, or was that one of the ones that was one of the last ones for the project? Yeah, uh, it was definitely a newer one. Uh, I bought a a bunch of beats from different producers, like a pack, you know, mm-hmm. came with like several hundred. It, it was a, it was a newer collection. Okay, sounds cool. Sounds cool. <laughs> 